Hey guys, my name is Tiffany and welcome to episode 97 of Flea Market's Video Game Hunting. So this is the last episode that I ended up recording. So I went on Wednesday. This was the Wednesday. I picked this up for a dollar. I thought it's just so nice, but the material is pretty cheap, honestly. And it's surprising because it is PlayStation branded. So this I ended up picking up and this was 50 cents. So I just ended up picking those up. So that was that Wednesday and this was Sunday. So this is is the last Sunday before the week after everything got shut down. So I ended up picking up two Wii controllers, one nunchuck, three Wii sensor bars, and a Wii sports game. And all of that was $19. And I kind of knew that this probably might have been the last day. So it was kind of sprinkling here on and off, but I still decided to go. And I regret not going on Saturday as well, just because I wanted to get more video, but yeah. So so I was wearing gloves as you guys could see there, but there wasn't a lot of vendors and the weather was pretty bad. So not a lot of people went, not a lot of vendors went as well. And the lady that goes on Sunday actually was here at this flea market that I usually go on Wednesday. So I was going to go to the Sunday flea market, but it was closed. So I looked up on Google to see if this one was open because I looked on Google to see if the other one was open and it said it was closed, but I didn't search it before I got there. So I didn't know that it was closed, but this one was open. Open, so I decided to go to this one instead and this one is pretty dead on Saturday and Sunday That's why I only go on Wednesday But yeah, these are the last things that I picked up and just watching this like playback of me going to the flea market uh, I miss going out. We'll, we'll just have to wait until everything opens up but safety first of course I did find a pink Wii motion controller but it was like the batteries had exploded inside so I didn't end up picking that up. I also found a white one but same thing happened to that so I also didn't pick it up. And I believe she charged me $5 each for the Wii controllers and $5 for the Wii sports game. And the rest was a dollar each. So guys without further ado let's get into the pickups. Hey guys, hope you're all having a great day. So I'm going to show you guys the answer for last week's question here. And I'm going to ask you the question for this week's video. So the question is, what was the first game in the Call of Duty series to be developed by Treyarch? I kind of stumbled there. Let's do that again. What was the first game in the Call of Duty series to be developed by Treyarch? So that is the question of the day, guys. So let's start off with the first thing that I picked up on Wednesday. So the first thing that I picked up was this pretty cool backpack. It's kind of small, I'm not gonna lie, and the material feels kind of cheap, but I only paid a dollar for it. I really don't know what you would use this for, but this is like really cheap. Like, you can see my fingers through this material. This is how cheap the material is. It's like, it's not that thick. It's kind of really thin. So yeah, there we go. There's the PlayStation logo there. Here's a zipper in the back too for if you want to put anything in the back there. But yeah, a dollar I paid for it. So I can't really complain. But I do wonder what this came in. Like a PlayStation box? I don't know. Because I picked up the Walmart box and that wasn't in there. I'm not sure if Target had a PlayStation box or not. But a dollar for this, I could not leave it there. So Wednesday was a pretty slow slow day and the last thing that I picked up on that Wednesday was this so I picked this up for 50 cents so yeah 50 cents I decided why not pick them up so the next and last things that I picked up this was all with one vendor this is one of the ladies that throws everything on the floor but not actually the main lady which I got the thumbsticks from that was the lady that threw everything on the floor but the bag was from this lady that I got the controllers from so let me just show you everything that I picked up all right guys so the price Price turned out to be $19 and I'm gonna show you guys how I think she priced everything so I got Wii Sports here so I'm gonna show you everything and then I'll show you how she priced everything in my opinion so Wii Sports here I found this on the floor with all of the cords and wires it is pretty scratched but I'm just gonna trade it into GameStop so I don't really care if it's scratched or not and the back of the box has like a little tear that's my finger like I said I don't really care I'm just gonna trade this in anyways so I picked this up and I couldn't 
not for the life of me take this off. If you try to jam it in, it, it doesn't pull out the way it's supposed to. And that's because I had a lock. I forgot about this little lock in the back. So this is why it didn't want to come. I didn't even want this part, but it trades in for like a dollar something. So it was a good thing that I picked it up, I guess. So I put in batteries in these things and usually they always work. So that's the only reason I picked them up. There was a pink Wii Motion Plus controller and missing the battery pack and it had corrosion in the back. So I didn't end up picking that up. Same with another white one that I had, it had corrosion in the back. So I didn't decide to pick that up. Maybe you guys would have, but I didn't. And I picked up this pretty nice controller. So this is Afterglow. I have a Power A controller for my Xbox One currently. I used to have a white original one, but I got a Power A controller at the flea market and that works all right. I feel like there is something wrong with the cord that connects to the Xbox because it's not wireless. It has to be plugged into the Xbox. So this is an Afterglow. I don't know how it glows, but the lights on this are so bright. Look, like, oh my God, they're blinding. They're blinding. But yeah, I picked this up and hopefully the whole controller glows. I really don't know yet. I'm probably going to keep this for myself and then trade the original one because I don't really care about original as long as this works I don't really care so the last four things that I picked up three of them are the same so I picked this up I cleaned it and everything all this stuff is cleaned and everything trust me guys so here is two Wii U sensor bars i'm not sure if they take these in i thought these would trade in for more because they're for the wii u uh, i picked up one for the wii so these are for the wii u at least i think they are i'm not really sure uh, i'm not sure if these could also just work for the wii and they don't count as wii u sensor bars they say wii sensor bars but i know that the wii u comes with the black sensor bars and not the gray sensor bars so i'm not sure if it's the same thing if they'll take them as wii sensor bars or not let me me know if they take them as Wii sensor bars or they just don't take them in because I checked the trade-in price and the Wii U sensor bar does not come up for trade-ins just the Wii sensor bar so not the Wii U just the Wii I'm confusing everybody but yeah I picked this up as well I usually pick them up and check the cord to make sure nothing is wrong with it the cords are fine on all three of these so make sure you check them I know that GameStop doesn't like to take in the sensor bars that are messed up from the cord well at least mine doesn't so let me tell you how she priced these so all of these five 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 that is fifteen dollars right there and then the rest of this was one two three and four so five ten fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen nineteen dollars in total for everything i thought it was a great deal because i'm gonna trade in and sometimes they have deals where if you pre-order a game or sometimes they're having 50 percent extra i like to wait for those deals to come up so i could trade all my stuff otherwise i kind of regret it so i thought that was a great deal let me know if you would have picked all of this up for 19 so let me know what your favorite item was mine would probably have to be the backpack to be completely honest with you i thought this was cool i hate how cheap the material feels and just to show you guys that this is original playstation so here is the tag for the playstation backpack made in 2018 it says exclusive something all right guys well as you guys can see there it is a culture fly exclusive kind of cheap material but it makes sense why the material is like that because it came in a box i'm guessing so yeah that was my favorite item i'm probably not going to keep that i'm probably going to trade that as well so let me know what your favorite item was hopefully you guys enjoyed it thank you guys for watching thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos if you want to follow me on twitter instagram facebook or twitch the links will be down below in the description happy hunting until next time guys i'll see you in my next video.